My Dog Skip is a very special film because Skip is played by Enzo and Moose. Enzo and Moose played Eddie in Frasier. Eddie was played by Moose until 2000. And then the role was taken over by his genuine real-life son, Enzo. The dogs do look very, very alike. Moose has a slightly fuzzier chin and their brown patches are slightly different on the top of their head. But other than that, they are very alike. And Enzo plays Skip for most of the film. Moose appears as a, an older version of the dog at one point, but Enzo is definitely the star of the show. So if you're a Frasier fan, you'll really enjoy Skip in this. The film was released in 2000, which is actually the year... Moose retired from the role of Eddie and Enzo took over, so it was a very big year for Enzo. It's directed by Jay Russell and written by Gail Gilchrist, and it's an autobiographical film telling the story of author Willie Morris's childhood with his beloved friend and pet, Skip, who is, of course, our, our beautiful Jack Russell, played by the wonderful Enzo. And it's about Willie... Growing up in Mississippi in the 1940s, and definitely some of this is set during the war, we get an interesting moment where there's a, without spoiling it too much, there's an effigy of a certain German leader, and Enzo Skip gets a chance to, uh, well, have a go at this. And I won't say any more than that, but it's not something I ever expected to see the dog doing. And there are moments like that that are funny in a way, but also kind of awkward and uncomfortable to think that these are scenes that they recreated or created, I guess, for the film. There's a, a scene, this isn't really a spoiler or anything, but there's a scene where people are queuing up. I think they were queuing to go to the cinema. Certainly they went to the cinema straight after. And there's a, a white queue and a black queue and obviously watching that it's quite uncomfortable but it's obviously a very realistic representation of, of life then in the 1940s all of that is just background though it's nothing the film is actually focusing on the film focuses on willie being a boy experiencing life as a boy in the 40s getting in with some interesting crowds and definitely relying on on Skip as as his true friend. Willie is an only child and it's very clear that Skip is his entire world and the bond they have is so beautiful and so lovely to see. And yes, I am welling up because it's just, it's gorgeous. If you've got a pet, if you've ever had that bond with a pet, you will really be able to connect with the relationship in this film and I think you'll find it very believable and very moving. And while I'm welling up, it's worth pointing out that it's not its not a, a sad film, really. I don't watch sad animal films. I don't watch animal films in general because even the tiniest bit of upset can just break me when it comes to animals. So I actually wouldn't have watched this had it not been Enzo and Moose. And I'm glad that I've seen it. But for the most part, no, it isn't an emotional film, or at least not an overly emotional film. But... There are a couple of scenes that are, well, I sobbed, put it that way, a couple of scenes, but in a way that's very beautiful and very moving. And that's just worth bearing in mind that if, like me, you don't like animal films that will make you cry, there are a couple of moments. For the most part, though, I don't think it's it's too emotional, too upsetting, at least. Certainly, there's a lot of emotion right throughout it. Most of it's very beautiful and uplifting, and it's so gorgeous to see this relationship and to see the dog performing, and it's just beautiful. Even if you've never seen Frasier and you've got no idea who Enzo is, it's still worth watching. It's a really beautiful film. I don't even think I've, pointed out, I've given the dog so much attention that I haven't pointed out that Frankie Muniz plays Willie. And he does a wonderful job with the character. Not that I know anything about the writer. I wasn't familiar with the writer's work or his life. Which is a good thing because I had no ideas about what I expected from that character. Whereas if you're familiar with Willie Morris's work, you might have certain ideas for what you're looking for. And I'd love to know if that's the case and if the film met your expectations. But for me, I didn't. I had no idea what his work was or, or uh, what his life was like. So I, I was able to go into it with no expectations at least for that character, and uh, I really enjoyed Frankie Muniz's performance. 
and his bond with the dog was very, very believable. And I, I'm jealous that he got to spend so much time with Enzo. Enzo really is. I'm a big fan of Jack Russell's, even not considering Eddie. And he's just gorgeous and so, so beautiful to watch. It's also quite nice that it's a Jack Russell, because usually when you have stories about dogs, not autobiographical stories, but just stories in general, the dogs are usually much larger dogs, Labradors, things like that, Golden Retrievers. So to have some beautiful screen time for a gorgeous Jack Russell, it's just stunning. The narrative is really good as well. It's a slice of this little boy's life in 1940s Mississippi with his best friend, Skip the Dog. And it's such a lovely film. If you haven't seen it, and if you're a fan of Frasier, you have to watch it. But even if you're not that bothered about Frasier, if you like dogs, you're going to love this. It's a beautiful story. And one that I'm really glad I had the chance to see.